All right, this is a pretty tricky SAT algebra question. Let's have a look. We are given that ax plus 2 times bx plus 7 is equal to 15x squared plus cx plus 14. And we also know that a plus b is equal to 8. And we are trying to find out what are the two possible values for c. Hmm. So what should we do? Well, we see that we have a binomial times a binomial. So naturally, we just want to multiply the out. So let's go ahead and try that. So first, we take this times that. ax times bx, we just have a times b, and then x times x, which is x squared. So that's the first term. And then take this times that, which we get 7ax. And then continue this times that, which is 2bx. And lastly, 2 times 7, which is 14. Good. And for the middle part, we can combine this and that in the sense that we can factor out the x. So when we do that, we see this is just going to be abx squared plus parentheses with 7a plus 2b. And then again, we factor out the x. And then this is plus 14 right here. So this is the same as the original. That's good. And now we'll have to just take a look at the right hand side. We see that this is going to be 15x squared. Well, on the left hand side is abx squared. So that means the coefficient of x squared, which is ab, has to be the coefficient of x squared right here, which is 15. So that's a clue. And in the meantime, we are also given that a plus b is equal to 8. So this is what we need to happen. So let me just write this down here for you guys. We need to have ab is equal to 15. And then we also know that a plus b is equal to 8. All right. So we have a system of equations. And remember, the question is asking us to find out what the value for c. c is right here, and that's the coefficient of x. And right here, the coefficient for x is 7a plus 2b. So this and that tells us c must be equal to 7a plus 2b. And to find out what a and b should be, well, we can just use these two equations. Well, right here, you don't really have to solve the system of equations the legitimate way because this is just the SAT and uh, this is actually just a multiple choice question. What I'm trying to say is you just have to get the answer. 1 times 4 is equal to 15 and together they add up to be 8. Well, just kind of try it. You should see that A is equal to 3, B is equal to 5. 3 times 5 is 15 and 3 plus 5 is equal to 8, yeah? But we do have another combination. A equals 5, B equals 3. And this might be a little bit tricky because, yeah, the order of A and B doesn't matter. Yeah, because it's symmetrical. But I don't want to get into too many technical details about 3, 5, or 5, 3. All right? So now we can just plug in 3 and 5 into here. So first, we can see that either we get 7 times 3 and then plus 2 times B. Ah, no, no space. So, so C e is equal to 7 times A, which is 3, and then plus 2 times 5. And together here, we get, we see that that's 27. No, that's 21 plus that, which is 31. All right, and then let me still put on the wall. So that's the first possible answer. And the other answer, again, let's put on the wall. C equals 7 times 5, and then plus 2 times 3. All right, that's 6, that's 35. Altogether, we get 41. So, da -da, we have either 31 or 41 for the answer for C. So that's it.